Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at how to work out the area of a right angle triangle. I'm going to take you through some easy examples, some medium examples and then some hard examples which are going to throw out common problems. In this video we're going to be calculating the area of right angle triangles. We have some easy triangles where we know all of the sides and the right angle. We have some medium triangles where we have a long side and then two other sides. And then we have some harder triangles where we have the hypotenuse and then some ones which aren't right angles. If you want a hard copy of all these questions, they're on my website. In the hard questions, I'm going to tell you how to tackle these ones as right angle triangles, these ones as right angle triangles, including Pythagoras and current common rounding errors that you can introduce which will lose you marks. Our equation for calculating the area of a triangle is half times base times height. Now the base of this triangle is down here, the height of this triangle is here, so we're going to do half times 24 times 32, giving us an area of 384 and our units are millimetre squared. Again we're going to use half times base times height. This is our base, here is our height, a half times 30 times 40 will give us 600 millimetre squared. Again, half times base times height, but base and height are the ones that are around the right angle. And it doesn't really matter which way around you label them. So here it is going to be half times 54 times 72 equals 1944 millimetre squared. Again, half times base times height, base, height, so that is a half times 5 times 12 gives us 30 millimetre squared. A half times base times height, our base, our height, a half times 20 times 99 equals 990 millimetres squared. Moving on to some medium questions now, these are ever so slightly trickier. Now we're still using the same equation, half times base times height. But we have a slightly large triangle and our right angle is in the middle. We need to use the numbers that are around the right angle. So here is our right angle, so we need to use this number and this number. And it doesn't really matter which way round we put them into the equation. So we're going to do half times 50 times 47 equals 1175 meters squared. Same equation, half times base times height. Here is our right angle. We need this number and we need this number. A half times 34 times 31 equals 527 meters squared. Same equation. Here is our right angle. We need this number and we need this number. A half times 42 times 51 equals 1,071 metres squared. A half times base times height. Find the numbers associated with the right angle, 61 and 68. is going to give us 2,074 metres squared squared. The numbers associated with the right angle are these ones. So we have a half times 56 
times 40 equals 1,120 metres squared. Moving on to some hard ones, and the tricky things about these is we don't know what this value here is. We need to find the numbers associated with the right angle, and we have one of them, we don't have the other one. So we need to do a little bit of Pythagoras first. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where we have this is A, this is B, this is C. So we can rewrite that as C squared minus B squared equals A squared. 100 squared minus 54 squared equals A squared. So we are going to have minus 2916 is going to equal 7084. So A squared equals 7084 so a equals the square root of 7084 now some of you are going to be tempted to write that as 84 clear calculator and then use 84 on your calculation in the future if you do this you will have introduced a rounding error into your calculation and you will get the wrong answer at the end so um to work out the area of a triangle we can now do half times base times height, a half times 54 times the square root of uh, 7084, which will give us an answer of 2272.5 rounded to one decimal place centimeters cubed. If you rounded at this stage here and did half times 54 times 84, you would have got the answer of 2268 centimetres squared. Uh, this is a wrong answer because you've introduced a rounding error at an earlier step. That's why it's always best to keep um, answers in third form so it's more accurate. It's why it's always good to store your numbers in a calculator. Again, we need to do c squared minus b squared equals a squared, a, b, c. So we are going to get 40,000 minus 15,876 equaling 24,124. So A equals the square root of 24,124, which again, you may be tempted to write as 155, but if you use 155 as your number, you will introduce a rounding error. We can now do half times base times height, half times 126 times the square root of 2414 equals equals nine seven eight five point one centimeter squared if you'd introduced a rounding error and did half times one two six times one five five you will have got the answer of nine seven six five centimeters cubed but this is wrong Following the same pattern here, so we have 160 squared minus 89 squared is going to equal A squared. So we can do 25,600 minus 7,921 equals 17,679. So A is going to equal the square root of 17,679. I know lots and lots of you are going to be tempted still to write down that A is equal to 133, but hopefully you've been listening and realise that is now not useful for our calculations. So half times base times height. Half times base, 89 times height, to each is the square root of 17. Uh, 1,679 is going to give us an answer of 5,917 
centimeters squared not an answer of 5918.5 centimeters squared if you introduce this earlier rounding error now this may look like a non right angle triangle but what we are going to do is we are going to draw a line down here and turn it into a right angle triangle uh, we know this length along here and we know this length and we know this length they are all the same they are all 260 half 260 so this bit here is 130 so now back to the same thing we were doing before c squared minus b squared equals a squared a b c so we can do 260 squared minus 130 squared equals a squared this will give us 67,000 600 minus 16,900 equaling 50,700. So A equals the square root of 50,700. I know some of you will be tempted still to write an answer down. Now we can go back a half times base times height a half times base and our base it doesn't really matter which side we use because they're all the same but it does need to be the whole base not the half base we just used so that's times 260 times the square root of 50,700 which is going to give us an answer of 29,271.7 centimetres squared. We can do the same with this one and draw our little line down here, making this a right angle triangle, giving us again c squared minus b squared equals a squared a b c we know that one there is 81 we know half of 95 is 47.5 so we can do 81 squared minus 47.5 squared equals a squared giving us 6561 minus 2256 0.25 equaling 4304.75 so we can say that a is equal to square root of 4304.75 or which we're not going to write a is equal to 66 half times base times height Half equals, remember we need to use the whole base here, 95 times the square root of 4304.75, giving us an answer of 3116.5 centimetres squared.